Six ways to speed up your Power BI dashboards in Databricks. One, use Delta, that's either Delta tables or materialize views. Not only do you get the performance benefits, but you'll always get the latest version, which is important when you're streaming or making regular changes, along with multiple people reading data through different compute options. Two, these tables should not be super wide. I'm guilty of this, aim for star schemas. Not only does Power BI prefer these types of queries, it means you can have dimension tables imported and cached, and then only direct queries Query the fact tables. Three, Power BI doesn't love nulls, so no matter what the column type, make sure you have not null as part of your table definition. Four, optimize those delta tables with predictive optimization if you can, or auto optimize and analyze tables. Predictive optimization is the setting for the table that makes optimize happen in the background. Auto optimize is technically two table settings, and analyze is something to periodically run. If you're making a fresh table, make sure to set it up with liquid clustering. Five, now you could have super efficient tables, but if all of your calculations are last minute in Power BI, that's going to slow you down. Try to do as many calculations or aggregations as early as possible. That means doing it as part of the ETL in Databricks. And finally, use the right compute. Use serverless, use SQL warehouses. It's literally what they're designed to do with caching and smart queuing. You probably need a medium size and then scale out if you have lots of concurrent users. Definitely don't use a cluster that has a long startup time or you'll be sat waiting around a lot. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot in data and AI, follow for more.